anyway I'm back with another video and if you're new here my name is Tamara and I post videos similar to this and I also post story times and other stuff like that so if you're into that kind of thing then you should subscribe and stay right here and join my little family I got going on here but if you're not new here and this is like your second or third video and you've seen them all thank you for being subscribed and if you don't already turn on my post notifications so you know when I post a video because I don't even know when I post a video child so I don't even know how I would expect you to know when I'm posting a video and if you like the video like the video so I know that you like the video because if you like the video then I know that you like the yeah you get it but um, I'm not going to make this intro too long this video is basically me telling you how I stay organized in school and tips on how you can stay organized in school even though school already started I'm sorry I started my YouTube channel late like sue me but yeah without further ado we're just gonna get right into this video my first tip for staying organized in school is having a planner it doesn't matter if you have a happy planner like me or if you have an Erin Condren planner or just like a regular planner that you picked up from Staples, but you have to have somewhere that you write down all of your schoolwork, all of your due dates and stuff like that. Everything that pertains to school has to be in something. You have to write it down somewhere. This is what my planner looks like for the month of October. So pretty much I have written down when my clinical starts, birthdays, and then I have volunteer work I have to do for clinical. And everything here is color coded. Orange for community, green for psych, pink for critical care, and then this nasty highlighter color for gym because I don't like gym. This is really easy because when I transfer to my weekly view, I can see everything that I need to do from a glance. I can tell, like today is Friday. Today is a heavy community and psych day. As you can see, I have like all these things to do for psych and community for the next like two days. Then critical care starts. That's when I have things to plan to do for Sunday. So basically this Sunday, I wanna start this critical care assignment that's due Wednesday. So I have everything that I want to do basically in the weekly column. So if I know that something's due next week on Tuesday, I know that this weekend when I have time, when I have a, a lot of time, that's when I wanna get it done early so that when Tuesday rolls around everything's already set to go and I don't have to procrastinate because believe me I know procrastinating is easy and you want to procrastinate but you shouldn't. My second tip to basically keep organized for school is just to have a folder for every subject because if you know that this blue folder is your psych folder or your gym folder or whatever anything that relates to this subject you just pop it open and then it's a one-stop shop so basically not only should you have a folder for every subject that you have that's important, you should also keep them separate. If your psych stuff is in with your gym stuff or your business stuff, you're not going to be able to find anything. So if you label something as your gym folder, leave your gym stuff in this one folder. Don't put other stuff in it because then everything's just going to get disorganized. Have a separate folder for everything. My third tip. When you get your syllabus, literally like the first week, there you're gonna have like a weekly schedule, something like this. Something that basically says um, the date, papers, test, when you're gonna be off. Take this sheet and put it into your planner. Basically, transfer all of the dates, every paper that's due, every test you have to take, your final, anything you have to do extra for the class, for credit, anything that has a due date, into your planner as soon as you get the syllabus as soon as you get this big sheet of paper because it makes life so much easier my entire month for October is already in here so everything that needs to be read everything that pertains to this class is already in my planner with due dates so I can have a monthly view that's comprehensive to all my classes so I don't have to constantly worry oh my gosh um, this paper is due in two days. How did I not know about that? If you take everything from your syllabus and put it into your planner the first week, everything makes sense. You'll know you have a test coming up. No one will be able to come at you and say, oh, did you know that our paper is due tomorrow? But meanwhile, you already know that the paper is due tomorrow. Your paper is already done. You don't have, there's no excuse to procrastinate because everything's already there. So if you basically do what I said and take your syllabus and put it in your planner from jump, you won't have any issues. My third tip 
is color coding. Find as many colors as you need for your subjects and color code in your planner, color code in your notes. If you highlight something in orange, that your brain is gonna make that connection when you're taking a test in that class. Oh, I highlighted this in orange. That color pertains to this class. What did that say? And your brain will think back to what you highlighted. So that's why highlighting is so important and color coding is so important because your brain creates these pathways for you to know like what these colors mean. Like you're looking at these highlighters like, oh, I just see green, orange, pink, and yellow. But I'm seeing psych, community, critical care, and gym. Follow that throughout the whole semester and you'll just have a way easier time when you're highlighting your notes, when you're making review sheets at the end. If you see some really pretty notes that are highlighted, there are diagrams all over them, that makes you wanna look at your notes. And if you look at your notes, you know what you're doing? Studying. <laughs> make everything that you do, make it look nice. Just put your best effort in. If you're taking notes in lecture, I'm not saying, you know, slow down your strokes and make your notes look really pretty. But if you wanna look at your stuff and actually retain the information because you're looking at it, make them look nice to you. Make them appeal to your, to your eyes because it's like the same thing with food. We eat with our eyes first before we eat with our mouths. So make your notes pretty, make them stand out to you, draw diagrams, do what you have to do. And then when you get home, Make sure that you look at your notes and then that's when you make them pretty. That's when you make everything make sense in your notes and add other things. You can expand on them because they're supposed to be just condensed, short, concise notes on things that you thought were important from the lecture. So when you get home, you can basically use your highlighters and you can highlight what's important and you can basically make sure that what stood out in the lecture, what your teacher emphasized, is what you're emphasizing when you're studying and when you're going back. My last tip that I have to like stay organized or like productive during school, because this went from organization to literally just like school tips very quickly, is Pomodoro. Pomodoro, I don't know if you've heard of it. So Pomodoro is basically an app that you can have on your laptop or your iPhone or your Android or whatever phone or device you have that basically times you and you use it to study. Your first session is 25 minutes straight. So 25 minutes of you actively studying, highlighting your textbook, looking at stuff, and then five minute break. Five minute break, go on Instagram, get a snack, you know, watch like a four minute YouTube video, something small, something mindless, something that you don't have to think about so that you can give your mind a break and a time to process all the information. Your brain needs time to just think about what you just gave it because if you're trying to learn quantum physics, in 25 minutes, your brain is already like, all right, dude, you're, you're doing too much, I need a break. It goes 25 minutes and then five minutes of break and then another 25 minutes and then five minutes of break and then another 25 minutes and then you get a longer break. Some people need like that discipline, like yes, you, for the 25 minutes, you gotta do just this. And then five minutes, you can do whatever you want. You can take a walk, walk your dog, or whatever, come back, and then get right back into it. Some people need that discipline. So if that's you, then Pomodoro is something that you can use for your school, or just work you need to get done in general. The lighting changed, I'm sorry. I, it's nothing I can do about it, you're just gonna have to deal with it for this outro. But I hope you guys, learn something sort of maybe or you know this reinforce what you already do and this is just gonna help you to keep doing those habits so if you like the video like the video like i said before subscribe turn on my post notifications leave a comment tell me that you liked it and follow my social media and keep up with me because you know the social media stays updated i love you guys so much and i'll see you in the next one bye